Hello, hello, everyone. How is everybody doing? Happy Sunday. Hopefully you all can see me and hear me well. All right, I'm waiting for a few people. You got EJ Brad and Kai is working on some videos for our future viewing for you all. So we did a little video during early shootings, a video. So that's what he is working on. So he is there. There he is. <laughs> you know, he's always busy just so they know that he is the one who does all of our editing, all of our thumbnails, you know, all of our videos. And, you know, he would be on. He edits them all. So he does an awesome, awesome job. So shout out to Kai. Um, we are here for our concierge tip of the week. We do this every Sunday. So I hope that you all will start joining us every Sunday and get tips from beers. I am a former concierge, but still in the hospitality business. I was a concierge for over five years. I work at the Mary. I was a concierge for the Woodruff Arts Center. I've been a residential concierge. So I am here to give you some information. I'm always here with a good tip about different things in the hospitality business. So we are going to get started. I was going to wait for a couple people to join us. I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I'm sure they'll join in. If you are not here for the live stream, make sure that you watch this video again. It shows you the video and everybody who chatted inside of the live, so you'll be able to see that as well when you go back and watch the video. So we are going to be talking about today hotels. Everybody likes to stay in hotels when they're traveling. Um, if you've never stayed in a hotel, maybe this will help you decide which hotel to stay in in the future. If you're planning a vacation, this will help you try to find that good hotel. So we're going to talk about full service hotels and service hotels. Believe it or not, there is a difference. So um, we're going to first talk about full service hotels. So when you go to a hotel that's a full service hotel, there are certain things that you expect or certain things that you do see when you're in a full service hotel. It would be like luxury hotels, uh, convention hotels, you know, the big brand name hotels like Marriott Marquis, Grand Hyatt, you know, the Hill, you know, they're, like their they're, uh, parent hotels or big hotels like that basically started the brands. Those are your like your full service hotels. And with those full service hotels, there are a list of things that I want to share with you. I don't know if you can see my list that well, but we're going to go down this list. I'm just going to talk about some things here because um, there are different things that you can see in this list that full service hotels have. So let's talk about them, okay? All right. So with full service hotels, you have valet services. So there's always valet thing um, in most of the full service hotels, you know, where they will park your car for you, of course, for a fee. Most of the fees range anywhere from $15 to like $35, $40, depending on the area, depending on where you're at in the, in the world. So they will take your car, park it for you, give you a tick or stub and then you hold on to that so whenever you need your vehicle they will get it for you so full service is like things that you know that hotels offer as a service to you so also you have bailmen you have the bailmen that will you know meet you at the door meet you at your vehicle they'll carry your bags for you they'll go to the room for you they'll place the bags in your room and of course, expecting a tip. If you know, I did talk about tipping in one of my concierge tip of the weeks. So make sure you look back and talk where I talk about how tipping is very important for people who offer services. So bailment is one of those services. Um, also, you have the doorman. So you see at the door, you'll have men there dressed in real nice uniforms with gloves on. And they will open the doors for you. You when you're going in and out, they open the doors for you. They welcome you to the hotel. They give you that warm welcome, that first impression that you expect when you go to the hotel. And that is part of that full service experience. All right. 
So we have talked about ballet, about bellmen, and we have talked about doormen. Now, there are also other services in full service hotels that you might not get at other hotels. So we're going to talk about concierge, which I am. So you'll see at most full service hotels, they have a concierge. So that's a separate desk for the concierge. And the concierge is more of like your information portal or information superhighway. Anything that you know about the hotel, about what's going on in your area, about transportation, about restaurant options, booking your reservations um, for restaurants or making your transportation plans, you know, helping you even order an Uber or Lyft, showing you how to download the app. You know, different like that, that you may not be aware of, or you might need help doing, or you might, you know, want to find something quick. You know, we know that uh, a concierge ins and outs of the city, what's the best place, what's the best kept secret, you know, what's the best option for uh, traveling here and there, what's best in general of things in your area. So that's what a concierge does. Now, with that, also in some hotels, have what is called a concierge lounge. Now, what the concierge lounge is, is kind of connected to whatever um, frequent program that the hotel may have. Now, frequent guest programs are like, you know, where you stay or travel quite a bit, either on business or leisure, and use their program where you get points for every time you stay at a hotel. Well, as a special bonus, a lot of full service hotels will have a college lounge on an upper floor of the hotel where you can have drinks. Comp you know, they have a, a bar where you purchase drinks or have like complimentary hors d'oeuvres and maybe complimentary drinks, just depending on the hotel. And it's a beautiful view usually of the city, upper level, that's private. That floor is like a concierge floor, which a lot of the frequent guest members can stay on that floor, you know, or be up that floor. So that is what concierge or concierge lounge is. So that's in your full service hotels. Now in full service, they have uh, mostly of them have full spas. So you have a spa that offers all kinds of spa services from pedicure to manicure to blowouts um, to um, facials to full body massages to um, like the, the hot coals or hot rocks type of uh, massages. You know, they have a pool, they have a steam, you know, those things are offered as in those full service hotels. So it's a full spa experience. Now, of course, a lot of those spa service at an extra price, you know, and either they're comparable to other spas you might go to in your area, or they might be a little bit more higher just because of the whole hotel brand. These are services that are offered in a full service hotel. All right. Now we're going to talk about restaurants and bars. All right, so you probably have gone to a large hotel um, that would have like a couple of restaurants. They'll have a couple of bars or lounges. They might even have a rooftop bar. So those are things that are offered in a full service hotel as well, you know, where you can actually go to a restaurant on property instead of trying to find one in the local area or walking distance or driving distance. You'll have it right there at the hotel. And especially like some of the W's, I'm not familiar know if you're the W Hotels, that brand is a Marriott brand, and they have rooftop rest uh, bars on the roofs of most of the W. So um, that is part of that full service experience that I was talking about. All right. Now, also, if you notice, like at a lot of the full service, they offer Wi-Fi wi services, so free internet services. However, at some of the full service hotels, there might be a fee for that. Now, if you're part of that program I was talking about, like the frequent guest program, like Marriott has Marriott Bonvoy, uh, Hilton has Hilton on, um, Hyatt has Hyatt Passport, you know, different things like that. Now, those programs will give you that Wi-Fi as a complimentary check-in as long as you book using your 
Rewards Program member number. Now, for all other guests that are on leisure or someone who doesn't book with their member or, or are not a member of that program, there's usually a fee for using the Wi-Fi. And that can range anywhere from $4.95 a day to about $10.95 a day. And that's per day. So keep that in mind. Now, of course, most probably use their, you know, their uh, data on their phones, you know, um, you know, or wait till they go somewhere else where there's free Wi-Fi. But in a lot of the hotels, they do offer Wi-Fi services, but it might be at a price. So just keep that in mind. All right. Now, also full service hotels are also convention service hotels that will have convention spaces, uh, convention business centers where you have a machine, you know, your scanner, you know, it'll have convention services. Uh, you can book a meeting. You can uh, book an event space. You know, like your full service hotel. So most of those are like for corporate clients, you know, um, who may have a convention in town or might be planning that convention. The full service hotel, have their guests stay there, and that way they can go to the convention right there in the same hotel. So it's like something all in one pack where they'll have um, breakfast for them in one meeting room. They'll have breakout rooms, which are uh, breakouts for in between the meetings. You have dinner also planned for their for their um, corporate clients. You know after the meeting, so that's all part of that convention experience. for in the full service hotels. All right. Also. There may be gift shops at the full service hotels. Now, when I say a gift shop, it, it would be like a gift shop that has like souvenirs, you know, gifts that you want to get someone special. Um, it'll be um, postcard of the area or of the, of the hotel. They'll also have like beverages, you know, they may even have alcoholic beverages or, you know, beer and wine, um, their stuffed animals, T-shirts, you know, different things like the different merchandise. And usually they are at a high price. Um, you know, they can be up to like maybe 10 to 20% more than what you would normally pay in the store, sometimes 50%. But it's part of the, that convenience, you know, of being in a full service hotel. But those are often usually at hotels like that. So it's, it's gift shops. And some of them, to be honest, the things are very nice. So that is something that is offered there. And also, there are like upgraded, sweet upgraded floors, like I mentioned before. You know, you might have a concierge floor or a stay well floor, which is something that's common now in full service hotel. A stay well floor will be a floor where everything is kind of like uh, uh, aromatic or, you know, that has the... Um, the infused vitamin C in your showers. You'll have your air systems that are um, purified. You know, you'll have your automatic lights that you get yourself, you know, on a timer, or you can touch them and they go on and off, or you can actually, um, you know, book certain things like book spa services they'll have an ipad in your room where you can just order those things automatically you know you can schedule or book those things so order service those type of things also while i'm talking about room service full service hotels usually offer room service some hotels have it 24 hours. some have it till one two three o'clock in the morning just depending on the services and and the area you know how 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 often they need those so that is room service and usually it's room service that back in the day it used to be with the roll table with the tablecloth i see not a lot of us are going to just a standard tray you know with your silverware and your your top on top of your plate or more of a pack you know with covid where Everything is packaged, you know, and you will take the packaging off yourself. So just depending on the hotel, but that is offered in full hotels. All right, next, we are going to talk about turndown services. So if you stay at the hotel, um, you know you have your housekeeping and, you know, they, of course, they clean your room on a daily basis and, you know, you come back you, and you go out and you come back 
and your room is clean, fresh sheets and towels, and you know everything is fluffed, and the air smells good. They vacuum. Well, turn down services is something that a lot of service hotels offer at night. So they have a turn down attendant that works for housekeeping. And if you need turn down service, that means that they will come in, they will make your bed up for you, and then they'll pull the the sheets back and put like a little mint on the pillow or on the little lapel of bed. And, you know, it's just like a nice extra touch in a full service hotel. Or they'll make up the sofa bed for you, you know, at night. Services that full service hotels will offer. All right. So also, I want to talk about like these services. So, you know, a many of these services, it would be like a separate department where say, if you want to order a gift basket, if you wanted to order fruit tray, if you wanted to uh, set up flowers or a certain type of dessert or, you know, something for somebody special, you know, the you know, full sales will have those type of services where you can call the amenities coordinator and you can get those services done. Or you can go through your concierge to, to arrange your amenities coordinator and they can set it up in your room, especially if it's like a surprise or a romantic thing for your loved one. You know, this is something that full, full service must offer. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding about full service hotels, you know, what they offer. The, the the I think a lot of people get confused is that when you go to a limited service hotel, then the things are slightly different. So we're going to talk about limited hotels. So we talked about full service. Now we're going to talk about limited services. So I'm going to show you a list of things that will be in a limited service hotel. All right. So these are the things that will be in a limited service hotel that we are going to talk about. All righty. So we're going to get started with that. All right. So limited services. So these are usually properties that are not as large as full service hotels. Now, full service hotels could be anywhere from 200, 300 to 1,600, 2,000 rooms. So very large hotels that, you know, a lot of people. Limited service hotels are usually smaller properties, anywhere from like 90 to 150 rooms. And, and so they're they're servicing less people. And I think financially, they're able to offer more services, you know, complimentary services. So, you know, you get free breakfast, usually either continental breakfast or full breakfast, you know, hot and cold hot. Items, properties like your residence inn, um, your Hilton Garden Inn, Home Two Suites, Homewood Suites, you know, properties at Fairfield Inn and Suites, they will offer free breakfast. And as opposed to like a full service hotel where you would have to order your breakfast and it's a cold breakfast. So that is something that they offer complimentary. Um, also, a lot of those type of hotels, the limited services, have um, like a social hour or a happy hour where they have like complimentary beer and wine um, that is limited, but they do have supplies run out. It's usually like on Sunday through Thursday, I mean, thir I'm sorry, Monday through Thursdays, and it's in the evening for about two hours. So I know that Wood Suites offers that, Residence Inn offers that. And it's something that helps you to, you know, maybe socialize with people who are staying in a hotel. Um, and, you know, it offers an extra service, you know, for, you know, someone that's staying on maybe a long term stay or, you know, make them feel more at home or you're on a short business trip. So that is something that the limited service hotels offer. Now, I know it sounds when it says limited services, but. It's, it's what they consider limited services because it doesn't offer you the valet, offer you the bailman or the doorman, you know, people that will assist you along the way when you're staying at one of the luxury properties. So they're not more so luxury, they're nice properties, but they offer so much more in my opinion. Um, usually the, like a, like an all-sweet hotel, like a rare home with suites, they would offer 
you know, suites. So they'll all be suites, usually larger than your standard rooms or a uh, large, or you can even upgrade to a larger suite, like a one or two bedroom suite. Um, so they have like roomier suites that come with kitchens or either have your microwave or mini refrigerators that are standard. And what's different between that and full service is that full service hotels, you may request a refrigerator. It might be a charge for a refrigerator in a full service hotel, where with a limited service hotel, it is complimentary. Also, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> also, as opposed to maybe having a gift shop, they will have a market. So the market would be that you can just grab and go and you will pay for it at the front desk. Now, yes, there is a cost for that. And yes, the prices are kind of marked up just like in the, but it's more so of a personal touch. Like you're at home, like you're just going to the, to the little market, grabbing you some chips and a drink, you know, grabbing you something, a donut or, you know, some cupcakes, and then you're paying for it at the front desk, you know, or you're billing it to your room, you know, whichever you prefer. So that is like a different full service and limited services. Also, you have like a free business center. So sometime at the full service hotels, they charge minutes, believe it or not, to use the internet. I know it sounds kind of crazy. And I think a lot of the full service hotels are getting away from it or they're just not, not being used because people can access internet on their phones. But in the limited service hotels, you have like your, your free computers where you can print your passes, where you can surf the web, where you can, you know, print out materials. And they have the printers there for you. You ask the front desk for some paper. You know, they refill everything there that you have, writing utensils and things like that. So it's a nice little business center that's inside of your hotel. Also, you have pool or jacuzzi. Now, at full service hotels, as some of them, they do have pools and jacuzzi. So that's something that, you know, Maybe that air, the limited service and full service properties. <clears throat> At the limited service properties, though, it seems like sometimes the hours are longer. You know, they'll stay open until like 11 midnight, whereas a full service hotel might close theirs a little earlier. And I don't know if that's based on the number of people they have at the hotel. I'm not how, how that, why that is that way, but I know that. A lot of times at limited service hotels, they'll have the pools. And in some of their suites, they'll have the jacuzzi clubs. So I think a lot of hotels are getting away from those too. But there are some out there still where you'll have your jet sprays in your tubs and your rooms to add a feature as well. So limited services and full services has their ups and downs or their, their good perks or their non-perks. I think the main difference is that for the money that you spend at a limited service hotel, you seem to get more complimentary amenities opposed to a full service hotel. But a lot of people like full service hotels because you get that full service experience, you know, with your filming and your doorman, you know, and a lot of people like to appreciate that. And that's usually in those luxury hotels, you know, Waldorf Astoria, you know. Carlton, you know, different pro hotels like that. So that is the difference between the two. So I hope that you kind of get a better standing when you're looking for a hotel, you're trying to find the right one. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit more. Now, before we go, I do want to talk about a, um, other types of hotels that may help you also. So these are other hotels that are either have been the trend these days or, you know, you might not even know about. So boutique hotels. Now, boutique hotels is something that has been started some years ago. And it's starting to be a trend mostly with either a younger crowd of people or, you know, more of like your uh, fast paced type of of clientele, you know, where they come in, they want to party a little bit, they want to have like modern look, you know, there's music playing, there's scent machines in the house, you know, it's real stylish, they have a rooftop bar, kind of similar to your limited services, but it's kind of a mixture of both, because you met valet, you know, you may still have like a restaurant there on property, and, but it's more of a trendier place. So you're like more like the Ross Hotel, um, 
there's some a few other like the element, you know, different things like that, um, where it is more of a fun experience. You know, you go there, you have a good time, you go have a couple of drinks, you party, the music is playing, there's scented aroma in the air, you know, so it's really, really nice places to go. So those are boutique hotels. So when you're Googling or searching for a hotel, if you like that type of hotel, I would look up boutique hotels and it should show up of hotels that you can choose from. Now, also something that's trendy these days are what they call loft style hotels or loft hotels. They have a brand called A Loft, which is like, it looks like a loft. It looks like, so there's not a lot of closed doors or walls, you know, everything is one room, you know, but it's, it's kind of sectioned off uniquely and it's styled really good with modern furniture or kind of eclectic type furniture. You know, you may have a little bar in the lobby, you know, it's real stylish, kind of similar to boutique hotels, but more of a loft style setting. A lot of times the people that are just here in town for one night that might be here for a day trip or a girls trip or, you know, things like that, where, you know, they're in a in and out, a turnover, you know, you're not there for like a week or something like that. It's that, that type of hotel where you stay in and you're out, you know what I mean? But there are fun hotels. I had an A-Loft for New Year's Eve. We did, Kai, myself, and Aaron V. We had an awesome time. So check out those type of hotels as well. Now you have your resort hotels. Now that's in a, a category all themselves. So Resort hotels. Those are hotels that have like your resort style. You know, um, Vegas is known for them. You know, where you're paying a resort fee. The resort fee takes care of your access to the pool, your 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 uh, fitness center access, your business center access. You know, it's a fee pay in in Vegas mostly for those type of amenities, but their pools are usually grand style pools, you know, with your cabanas that you're extra for. They may have two or three pools or more. They may have a fabulous fitness center, you know, and it's more of that theme type hotel. If you've been to Vegas, you know what I'm talking about. If you have been to Vegas, you need to go. All right. So those are your resort hotels. Also, like in Orlando, Florida, they have theme hotels based on Universal Studios, you know, or SeaWorld, you know, where they're family oriented. They have a lot to offer. They have um, pools, adult pools, you know, they have a lot there to offer. And it's more of a family style place. But some of those are all inclusive. Get a package that includes everything, it includes your parking and your breakfast for your family and, you know, or like dinner vouchers or you know, it includes amenities and you can buy those packages or it, it also includes your shuttle services, you know, from the hotel. So those are resort hotels or vacation type. So if you're looking for that type of hotel, you can find those as well. And I would do a search for resort hotels. So guys, my name is Jay Brad. As always, I try to bring you tips on when you're traveling, you know, concierge tips for different subjects. And I'm going to continue to do this every Sunday. Um, sometimes we do uh, the lives in the morning or in the evenings, depending on my schedule, because I do have a regular job. So it's always on a Sunday. And I will always notify you guys when we do have them. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got a lot from that you were able to get more of an idea of what the type of hotels there are and the difference between full service and limited services. All right. Once again, my name is EJ Brand from EJ Brand and Kai. Our own videos that we release, we release every Monday and every Friday. So you look out for those videos as well. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. And when you subscribe, that notification bell, boom, and there'll be a little bell and you click all there. So that way you will get notified of each and everything. That All right. As always, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next live. All right. Have a good day. Bye.